Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Eco Structure Machine Expert HPAC. I'm your host, Jan Romada, and in this video what we're going to see is the real-time clock that we have in the controller. So let's go to the presentation. So, the M162 has the real-time clock and we have the possibility to change that, to change the actual date and time. So, the easiest way is to go to commissioning, just put here to the pan, go to the commissioning tab and then go to the system clock values folder. In there you have one set of variables to see which is the actual date and time and then another set of variables that are related to the new date and time that I want. Once we have this new date and time, we just need to change the status of this upload to true, and then the system will put it in false. So let's try to make this. So let's go to here, already connected, as you can see. Now go commissioning. In the commissioning tab, we just go to system clock values. So let's read all this. You can see this is the time that I have, which is any other time. So let's try to put the new values here. Minutes, not this, hours, this, day of the week, it doesn't matter right now. Day of the month is eight, nine, twenty-three for today. So we can set these new values. If you read this one, you can see that it doesn't match, which is okay, because in order to upload, we just need to change this variable first. So right click, um, write this value, and then this should be in the new order that we want. Okay. Good, easy in this way. So commissioning over here, here, load, so now you can use those internal variables that I show you inside the display if you have display and then I can show you how you can change that. So um, I have this project, okay, they have a few other system things so we can copy this. So I'm going to copy the main, copy page. And I'm gonna paste it on my here. Paste it. I'm going to set this one as a starter. You need to be careful in this organization. Hierarchical and flat. Flat is usually what we use. Um, for example, on HMI designs, uh, hierarchically, you just need to open a page, go back, page, page, and then go back to the first one. You cannot jump between them easily. So, flat going to be the best. Um, here you can see there is calling another one system menu so we just need to copy some of those. Go to system but it's going to be a long one so let's just copy the ones that we want. Paste it and change. over here so I'm going to call this one from the main which is this open page don't worry about it if you don't uh, don't follow it the only thing that when you copy it just add these numbers at the end so you need to delete it Otherwise, it will mess around with everything. Okay, and I believe on the actual, we just need to go back to the main. Okay. Change is going to be to the other one. Not this one, that black. Okay, so if I'm not wrong, we should be able to download this to the target that we have. Initial page, and to specify. So the starter mm -hmm. parameter main. 
this ones. Okay. This just came from the other from the other project, but we're gonna cover that in a few minutes. Just wait for it to load and let's go to the HMI part. So you can see it's already downloaded there. So if you go to here, system, shall go to the actual date and time. Just wait for the display to be off. Let's see if I can lock it. Off. Okay. So you can see. And there I can go to change or not. Change. It will take the last values. Yeah. Not the right amount. It's there though. 23 is 24. Okay. And then just apply. Apply. It changed 24. And maybe you don't see it. Right now but it's 24 so this is how you can um, change the date and time okay using that uh, template and you need to have it on the display so um, let's go back to the presentation so we got it we just did fine now in the code of the programming there is in the library tree dash variable, okay, which is in the system clock. So if we go to the software programming, uh, let's add the watch. Let's delete all this. Go to target, target variables, system clock. And here is the actual date and time and if you compare with the in here it should be the same okay so that that should be it now let's see these if you want to do something in the PLC you can use this data let's see now in order to check the the range of values, this this is an structure, and this structure is this type type data, data time. It has this one, okay. You can see is US int. You can see all the data in there, and you can see here the range. The day of the week go from zero Sunday to six Saturday. Um, basically here you have the complete range. So. What I have done is this function, these two function blocks um, that I can show you here. Here are these two, these variables here. Copy, try to paste it on the other side. Let's see if it works. testing this one on pistol and this is the address okay so I've been using this on the program so in the library you have these two that this one is the system app so you just create new program um, boot and in it and here what you need to do is to call this function block I already have done this code over here in the programming just call this 
I'm going to copy this over here, Ctrl C, Ctrl B, and I believe this enable button enable over here. So when the PLC boots up and I don't know this, you should be able to see the actual date and time from what the system has boots up. And then we also have the possibility to use this function block. Let's say SR PD. So what we need to do is add this function block here, FPDT. Time. Enable time not I believe this one is no mandatory to use it. Yeah, it's no mandatory. On this version the block is no mandatory because the idea was to use okay, which is the actual time that is since a startup, but I didn't do it. I didn't want to do it. So um let's compile don't go to the target you'll see test okay system up my PLC Wi-Fi to download. Just a different way to see the data. So, what we need to do now is to power cycle the unit. So, rebel target. So I can show you there is some data in there. Just wait for this PLC to boot up. Okay, seems to be done. Now, here you can see on the controller, this up, and now here you can see the model number of the PLC that I'm working with. You can see the version of the firmware, the date and time where the PLC has put up. Okay, and on this variable, you should be able to see now, oh, enable it, true, you should be able to see in the watch the actual date and time in a string format, it's just a simplicity, uh, but it's the same, so you can see here uh, my PLC, watch, drag and drop it, and see the date and time where it's good and the other one okay so it's just very I mean much more or less um, so this is it this is how you can see the date and time and how you can change it also okay using the variables of the system also the display so probably the best would be to go to the system and change it from there and if it's remotely using the more less addresses that you have on each of the variables and remember to send a trigger for the update of the date and time so this is it for the moment thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one